developing news from KXAN Austin News. A jury just deciding the punishment for a woman who pleaded guilty in the death of an 11-year-old girl. That ruling came late this afternoon in Burnett in the case of Linda Mesher. She ran a Hill Country horse camp where 11-year-old Brianna Plain died in 2009. Plain was killed when the pickup truck Mesher was driving flipped in an accident. Mesher pleaded guilty to manslaughter and injuring five other children. The jury decided that she deserved jail time, eight years for Plain's death, four years for a charge of serious bodily injury and two years each for four counts of injury to a child. Those sentences will run at the same time. Jacqueline Inglaze was in the courtroom for the decision this afternoon. She joins us live from Burnett with more. Jacqueline. Leslie, even though Mesher got an eight-year prison sentence, she's going home and will be sleeping in her own bed tonight because her attorney filed an appeal, which was immediately granted. Now, she was not crying when the verdict was read. That may be because she knew what her attorney was going to do, but Brianna Plain's family was not crying either. They, the only outpouring of emotion showed up when they were giving victim impact statements. More than six people from Brianna's family gave those impact statements, among them her father, her mother, and her brothers. Although happy with the verdict, they told Mesher her going to jail still doesn't bring their daughter back, and they will never be able to forgive her for what she did. He ripped her face off and killed her. You took her beautiful face with a cute button nose and little dimples and you destroyed it. How dare you? You saw Brianna that night. They would not let me see her that night at all. And I thank the officers for not letting me see her that night. Because if I did, I wouldn't be here today, I promise. Or I'd be in the same asylum. Now, at one point when Brianna's mother was giving her victim impact statement, she looked directly into the eyes of Linda Mesher and said, you look at me while I talk to you. Now, Mesher did not cry. She remained composed. But again, that's because she knows that tonight she's not going to jail to start serving that eight-year sentence. Instead, she's going home because her appeal has been granted. Live in Burnett, Jacqueline Inglis, KXAN, Austin News.